chairman, this is very serious. This is banning. In documents tabled before the National Assembly's Public Petitions Committee, control of budget Margaret Nyakango told MPs that the former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Ukuria Tani forced her to approve funding for two state departments in violation of the Constitution. I came with a downloaded conversation. Ukuria Tani, evening controller, we are intending to do sub to latest end of April. You need to approve this for us immediately. August 2022, 3.38 p.m., Dr. Margaret Nyakango. The timing requires up to tomorrow as I am still out of office. 4th, August 2022, 3.39 p.m., Yakuro Yatan. You need to devise how to deal with it. I am sorry, but try. You cannot say that if I see this, it's a black and white yes or it is a no. There are so many things that you will weigh before then you arrive at that final decision. She further revealed that Yatani had pushed her to approve 6 billion shillings to Qatar for the exit of Helios Investment in Telecom Kenya. For the defense expenditure and this telecom thing, which it is very clear from what you've said and what is in record, uh, at some point, you are um, twisted to approve this. How, how much did you approve under that condition? From where I sit, I have to use a lot of discretion. And I'm also human. When I'm under threat, I have to self-preserve. This and on the highlights, it clearly shows that the, 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 the control of budget was actually threatened yes. and was forced to sign off these six billion shillings. The control of budget gave a detailed breakdown of how she was forced to approve 9.2 billion shillings, which was approved by the National Treasury under Article 223 to the State Department for Infrastructure. So when they are making the requisition, they'll say, okay, we had this project, we wanted to do it, we budgeted so much for it, but a need has arisen. We have found out that we need more than what we budgeted. So... They will justify the need. But Honorable Chair, and this is where we are going, we are going to see that this article is greatly abused. Yakago also told the committee that the Yatani-led docket utilized monies from the annuity fund to fund the 9.2 billion project for the State Department of Infrastructure, which was a violation of the law. Meanwhile, the Public Petitions Committee has threatened to order the arrest of Treasury CS Njugunandungu for snubbing its invitation to explain claims the former regime spent in excess of 50 billion shillings without Parliament's approval. If he fails to appear on the date on 16th of March this year, a warrant of arrest will be issued. The petition was filed by a Kenyan, Stephen Mutoro, who is also the Secretary General for the Consumer Federation of Kenya. With the revelation by the control of budget, Treasury has now to come out clear and explain just how did the 15.5 billion shillings get out of Treasury in unclear circumstances. Philip Murutu, K24, Nairobi.